Today's video can be found on page one in your 1C packet ratios and rates. And as you can see, the problem of the day is on this page. Pause the video and do your best on these three questions. We will go over them in class tomorrow. So you've completed page one and we are on to page two. As you can see, it is in our textbook 4.2 in the sixth grade pink textbook. Please read this page over carefully. It talks about ratios and how you can group these blue and red marbles into different groups, equivalent ratios. The next page, find, um, use the greatest common factor to put ratios in simplest form. You already know this. How do I simplify a ratio? So 50 twentieths can both divide by 10 and you get the ratio five to two. The B example, watch out, be careful. You have to make sure that your units are the same. So eight centimeters to three meters cannot be simplified as it is. You have to change your smaller unit or your larger unit into each other. And you can see in this example that they took the meters and changed it into the 100 centimeters. So three meters would now be 300 centimeters. So simplifying the ratio eight centimeters to 300 centimeters, they have a greatest common factor of four and in simplest form, it's two to 75. I would like you to try question number five and question six on your own. And you can notice, uh, uh, oh, first step here is that we're comparing kilograms and grams. Can't do that. Change those kilograms into grams first. Next page. Equivalent ratios have the same ratio when they're in simplest form. So the ratio one to two, as you can see here in the bar model, is exactly the same ratio as two to four when you simplify it down to one to two. Yes, two to four ratio simplified is a one to two ratios. So then you can look at um, some of the other examples here. Read this carefully. I'm gonna go pretty quickly. Um, letter B says that three to four and six to nine, are they equivalent? Well, three to four is in simplest form. Six to nine can go down to two to three if you take a three out of each of these, right? You divide each of these by three. Three to four and two to three are not the same ratio. So yes, three fourths does not equal six ninths. They are not equivalent ratios. I'm writing them in fraction form here, not the colon form like you saw here. They are not equal ratios, not equal, because their simplest form are not the same. Order does count, and there's this math note that you want to read over, because 1 to 4 and 12 to 3, oh, you're thinking, oh, 3 goes into 12 four times. That might be the same, but no. 12 to 3, order counts, is a 4 to 1 ratio. So 1 to 4 and 4 to 1, they are reverse of each other. They are not the same ratio. If this was 3 to 12, then it would be 1 to 4 and 1 to 4. But it's not, so not. You have to pay attention to order. So on the bottom of page 4, pause the video. Answer these four questions. I'm on the top of page five now. Find equivalent ratios by multiplying. And you know this from third and fourth grade, that three to four, if I multiply both parts by two, I get six to eight. Well, if I take three to four and I multiply both parts now by three, I get nine to 12. If I take three to four and multiply both parts by four, 12 to 16, and three to four times five, you get 15 to 20. So 3 fourths equals 6 eighths equals 9 twelfths equals 12 sixteenths equals 15 twentieths. So they were solving a word problem there. I would like you to do question 11 using multiplication to find three ratios equivalent to 7 eighths or 7 to 8. First one they're asking you to multiply by 2. Be creative. 
for the other two, you can multiply by whatever number as long as it's the same on both parts. On to the next page. Equivalent ratios can also be found by doing division, like simplifying a fraction. Um, so yes, you can find common factors of the terms and then divide by those. So 18 and 54, oh, well they have a two in common. I can divide by two and get 9 27ths. 18 and 54 have a three in common. I can divide by that. They have a six in common. They also have a nine in common. And yes, their greatest common factor would be 18. So if I take 18 to 54 and divide both parts by 18, I get the simplest form of one to three ratio. These are all the ratios that are equivalent, equal in value to 18 54ths. Um, I'm going to start number 12. I'm going to ask you, go ahead and do 13, 14, 15, and 16. See if you can find their greatest common factor. Use division to find all the whole number ratios that are equivalent to 24 to 96. Well, first I've got to find their common factors. So the factors of 24, I do it in a two-column method. 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, 4 times 6. So I know I'm done when the bottom of my two-column list these numbers are really close to each other, 5, and I know 5 doesn't go into 24. So I'm going down my divisibility rules, 1 times 96. Oops, that might be off the screen, so i got to move it over. 1 times 96, 2, next divisibility, yes, 2 times 48, 3, 9 plus 6 is 15, so 96 divides by 15, or by 3 rather, 96 divided by 3 is 32, 4, 4 times 24, 2 and 3 gets me 6 for free, so I know 6 goes into 96, 6 times 16, 7 doesn't go in, 8, 8 times 12 is 96, now these two numbers pretty close to each other, I only have to check 9, which doesn't go into 96, because 9 plus 6 is 15, and 96 won't divide by, uh, 15 won't divide by 9, 10 doesn't go in, 11 doesn't go in. So those are all the factors of 96, a two-column method. I love that method. Now, what do they have in common? 2, 3, 4, 6, 8. Oh, they have lots of things in common. So you might want to go up to the white space up here. 24 to 96 can be divided by 2. So I'm going to divide by 2 and you get 12 to 48. 24 96 can be divided by 3. So you're going to keep finishing this problem. And yes, that is the bell. Um, find equivalent ratios. Oh, next page. Um, oh, this page you're going to read this example really carefully because I'm going to do a similar one to it on page 8. So, read that page carefully. Number 17, Selena and Drew each have a summer job. The table shows the amount of money that they earned based on the number of hours that they worked. Express the ratio of Selena to Drew's earnings in simple S form. It's 31 to 33. If Selena works four days, she will earn four times 31, which would equal 124. If Selena works 30 days, she would work 30 times 31, because she makes $31 per day, which is $930, right? If Drew works four days, he will earn four times 33, which will equal 132. And if Drew works 30 days, 30 times 33, he will make $990. Um, so it's asking, show the table and answer the questions, which I did. So I would like you to do question number 18 on your own, and we will go over all of these eight pages worth of work in class tomorrow. And that's it for today's video.